Pete here, N6QW. We got the Radig working. And there's the basic board right there. It was the board that I used with uh, Charlie Moore's ZL2 CTM's uh, SDR rig where he had a teensy with all the code. And now what essentially we've done is taken that board and what we've essentially done is uh, added the Raspberry Pi and the uh, SDR kits USB controller right there. Softrock, uh, this is not Softrock, this is the uh, Softrock uh, uh, scheme for for decoding we're using uh, the StarTech M1 and a Raspberry Pi 2 he's in Colorado I think we're off about uh, 200, 250 hertz, so I'm going to have to calibrate the microcontroller on here, and there's a procedure for doing that. I might have to do it in Windows. But I'm, I'm impressed. This really works well. Forty meters are pretty active tonight. This only works on forty meters, so we can only listen to forty. Somewhere in the Midwest. I, uh, I'm suggesting that maybe someone could make an arrangement and have plug-in uh, bandpass filters. But uh, the only thing would have to be added beyond this is the, uh, is the driver stage and the final and the TR relay and the low-pass filter beside, uh, beyond this board. And I have to put some relay switching for the um, line-in, line-out because it uses a, this common line. We're in the uh, center frequency. All the functions of Quisk work with this. So narrow filters. I'm not centered right on it for the uh, lower. Two hundred hertz filter, simple board. All the functionality works here in Quisk with the uh, homebrew ratting. I think I, I'm going to have to uh, calibrate this, the uh, the ATTINY, I think it's a 45 or maybe an 85 in there, I have to calibrate that so it's right on the frequency. And they have a process for doing that, but I haven't, someone has it in Linux, but I haven't, I haven't tracked the guy down, so I might have to do it in Windows and then put it back in here. East Coast N4 
So it looks like all the functions, all the functions that you normally have with, with Quisk. I haven't seen uh, anything with opposite sideband showing through, but there is a uh, functionality in Quisk that lets you uh, let you tune uh, the phase and the amplitude so that you can null out the uh, opposite side down should that be a problem, but I haven't seen anything here so far. Yeah, I think he's on 190, so it's probably off about 200, 250 hertz. But I'll, I'll find out. But I'm impressed. Oh, it's on. There, let's get it. 190, so it's off by about two to 300. Well, there's some strong signals. It's about S9. Plus. I think he usually hangs out at 7190, and I'm reading at 7190-200, so I've got to calibrate that that little uh, microcontroller. I'm gonna have to see further how to do that. Uh, I don't. I know I can't do it in Linux, but I have done it before, and uh, so that you uh, you sync it up. This is exciting. So here's the whole radig right there. That board, that's a, uh, that's a four by six board, four by six. And this is the audio amplifier, which we won't be using because we have the dongles to do that. Have a little balance pot in here so we can balance the, the, uh, uh, the quadrature LO input so that uh, they're, they're ba everything is balanced in the system and that makes a big difference. They got the two modem transformers here. Cool. Anyway, N6QW here, and we're looking at the Radig Homebrew SDR transceiver. Very cool. What really made this was the SDR kits USB controller. Uh, they're making another production run. I was in contact with them and they'll have uh, kits available. Uh, I think they're about 12 pounds. I'm not sure what the, depending on the exchange rate. And that's without the SI-570. Uh, you can get one of those free from uh, Silicon Labs, but they sell, they do have kits that they sell you that and they're about 15 bucks. You can get one free, so free is good. Mm -hmm. 
That, that sounds like Mike, so that's a roughly off about 300 hertz. Anyway, N6QW here, pretty exciting. Okay, I think it's off by about 220 hertz. So I'm going to have to go through some kind of calibration procedure. Yeah, all the functions work. Looking for check-ins. Any check-ins anywhere for the YL system. VA7, JSF. Nice. Alpha 6, Foxtrot, Delta, Foxtrot. Waterfall. Okay, I got a whiskey Alpha 6, Foxtrot, Delta. I missed the last letter. Try it again, please. Roger. There it is, the Reddick. Okay, good evening, Clay. How are you doing tonight, Omar? Fine business. I'm here in El Cerrito, and uh, you've got a great signal there. How's my signal look where you're at? Well, your signal is about a 5 and 8. 5 and 8, 58. Over. Sounds good. Now you're running about 30 over 9. And 6QW here, working with the Radig. Always nice to get a good signal report uh, uh, running this way uh, and uh, on the YL system. Are you familiar with the system, Omar? Negative. Okay, well, we meet on this frequency or close to it uh, every uh, Monday through Friday. Commencing at 0200 UTC. I'm excited. And, uh, a homebrew the SDR. There it is. can be found at www.org. I think I messed that up at the start. www. And 6QW here. Homebrew. Radic. Anyway, more work to come. We haven't got it proven on transmitters yet, but the receive is sure looking promising.